Today is one of those fun videos where I share with you the inner workings of how I make my YouTube videos. You're gonna see the entire setup of the camera that I use, the microphone that I have, what it takes to get this lighting the way that it is, I'm going to show you everything. And one of the reasons that I'm doing this is because I enjoy seeing other people's setups and the way that they record and how they record along with what they have in the background. So it gives me ideas on what I can implement in my own videos. And also I want to show you how simple it is to get a setup done that looks similar to this in addition to how inexpensive it actually is. So with that being said, Hey, Itaime, if we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so let's get started from the very beginning. We have our little curtain right here that's designed to do two things. It's designed to help us with the light, keep the light out from the outside, and also it helps reduce the echo. So let's start from the right-hand side. We have our little bookshelf here that is housing a lot of books that I have never read. And I'm sure you've seen the rest of the decor already over here as well. We have two seating areas and then we have this. I think this is a Megatron. I'm really not sure. I just thought it was cool. So I bought it. And then this one's actually my prized possession. This is a this was commissioned uh, and um, I have not been able to find the artist because I would like another one just with Goku by himself. But um, I'm going to need to find him because he uh, he did a great job with that. Then we have some additional decorations right over here and then over here and then this is where the desk used to be i used to shoot from right here so this is the desk it would it would face the window because this is a window and the reason i have a black curtain again for the light and also to reduce the echoes whenever i was recording so it doesn't sound like a, a silo and then this would be the backdrop this is what you would see whenever you were watching the videos and then we have a dresser here and then we have a ton of these little stools right here that go up and down and you can see that some of these appear to be out of place you see well what's the dresser doing here and what's with all these stools well i um i'm a big fan of saving money <laughs> and uh, i used to live in a larger house about 4500 square feet and then i downsized but when I downsized, that meant that I had a ton of leftover furniture that I just could not fit into this, into this house. This house is 1,800 square feet, so basically half. So I've just been either giving some furniture away or really making multi-use uh, multi of these stools right here. Um, we're not going to go through the entire house right now and do the tour there, but in the kitchen there's a bunch. There's a bunch more in, um, in my rooms. So these, without exaggeration, I probably had, <laughs> this, is, this is silly to say, I probably had 30 of these. I just like them. But um, anyway, so that was a side tangent. Anyway, so I made the best out of the move. And when I downsized, there was just a lot of uh, furniture that, I mean, instead of uh, selling it or giving it away, I thought, well, let me just use it instead of buying um, furniture. But anyway, what I'm doing back here with the sound ever since i moved because remember i was over here speaking into this ever since i moved i am noticing some echo so i'm starting to build these little things right here these foam crates or egg crates whatever they're called so i'm starting to build those from the ground up i don't want to paint them to the wall uh, tack them to the wall or stick them to the wall so i'm building them from scratch or i guess gluing them to each other here's some additional ones that i need to get going with all right, so then here's the setup. Now, we're gonna go through the entire setup. Just understand that everything will be linked down below. And also, I don't know what half of the names are of, of these. I, like, if you ask me what that my, mic is, I know that it's a Rode, uh, Rode mic, but um, that's about all I know. My good friend Trevor Jones helped me with this setup. Um, so he's an, he was a, an editor turned realtor turned, he's, I mean, he's, he's magic with video. Um, Matt Velasquez also helped me. Um, so he owns a radio station down in Houston. And then um, Jose Zavala, he's, uh, he's heavy in the podcasting game. So those three folks just really helped me get things going because I am not a tech person. I know I may appear like a techie, but I am not. So I used to have the Yeti, but I upgraded to this shotgun mic and it's been working fantastic so in order for this mic to work 
you notice it has a different connection back here I need to plug it into this. I know it's a Scarlett Focus, right? I just don't know what this is actually called. I know that those are the brands, but I do have to have it plugged in. It's picking up my audio right now uh, from the mic. And then this right here, this little, this little cord, I plug that into my camera, which I believe is an M50 Canon right here. And then I drop that and I put it right there. So whenever you see me just in the frame, whenever actually you're gonna see me do that right now in a little, in a few seconds. Hey, one quick second. I hope that you're enjoying this office tour and this behind the scenes look of how I actually make these videos. I just wanted to ask for one small favor. Would you go down to the bottom of this video and smash like, that's gonna help pay the bills. You're gonna see me only mount this and I'll be speaking straight into it. So if I'm doing a screen share, it's gonna look a little bit different but this is um, just me in the frame. And of course you're gonna have a bunch of extra batteries. You're gonna have a bunch of extra cards so you can record. And if you have a desktop or if you have a laptop, you absolutely need these extra inputs. So you see I'm hardwired in internet wise. So with Mac, unfortunately you have to have so many adapters. You spend so much money with adapters on that alone, but it's well worth it whenever you're talking about a Mac. So we have this little connector right here, which I could be connected from an HDMI. So I could actually have a no another monitor from this side. You see all of my USB ports and then the SD cards right there. I have another one over here. So you see, I have another monitor on the left-hand side. So you have the HDMI and then you have this right here, which is a ton of lights and you'll see me set everything up. And then back here, you just have an assortment of tripods. So this cameras jacked as you can see I don't um everything's pretty jerry-rigged you may think that oh wow this is a professional setup but it's not <laughs> actually nobody would say that um just me right but anyway so you have all of these little stands which are very convenient you can't really to my experience even though it's limited you can't have enough of these I mean you I have another one over here one of those little stands you never know what angle you're going to record and it just helps because you know, there's lights, there's external mics, there's um, when you wanna record with your phone or when you wanna record with another camera, you just can't have enough of these. So you have the little tripod right there. This is a light and this, this is a this little sock right, well, it's not a sock, I'm sorry. It's a chicken nap, chicken, oh my gosh. Kitchen napkin right there. And then you have some additional tripods and that's where I'll be mounting the camera and setting everything up. All right, so, we have the external mic, we have everything set up, you've seen that. Now, if I'm ready, getting ready to record, which I am, and you're gonna see the intro of what this looks like, well, actually, you already saw this since you're already in the video, you're gonna see me take one of these, and I'm gonna go over here and turn on these blue lights. All right, so that's one of those things. Again, everything is linked down below, so you don't have to guess like I did. And then what we have here is this light, gonna control that light so we're gonna hit the blue and we're in blue mode all right as you can see it gets considerably darker and very very minimal light comes through so I need to probably get a larger curtain all right and then this one this is my latest light right here so I'm gonna turn these on and now we have blue these are larger lights these you see them back there so it gives that little blue hue on the back and so it looks like it's it's painted but it's not so again I'm gonna I'm gonna paint one of these I'm not sure which wall I want to paint but it's probably gonna be this one I'm gonna paint it more of a darker color so I can change the light and you see me glowing over there with some Dragon Ball Z but anyway now what happens is I sit down and I'll show you what happens if I'm gonna do a screen share. Now again, I wanna show you everything so you don't have to guess on your end. If you have a Mac, you already have QuickTime Player. You can use an OBS software, so open broadcast software, which helps do screen capture and everything else. You can do, there's so many different screen shares, but this QuickTime Player, it's free. So all I have to do is go to Movie Recording, which is gonna turn that over there. So it's kind of pointing somewhere else. And again, I just didn't have this set up. 
because this webcam, this is the one that I actually, I'm not gonna recommend that you get this webcam because it doesn't have any screws on the bottom. So I'm gonna, getting ready to replace that webcam. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize this right there and I'm gonna move myself to the right. So I'm gonna be in the bottom and then I'm gonna go to window. No, I'm gonna go to view. I'm gonna float on top. So this is gonna always be on top. So you're gonna see my camera and then I'm gonna go to file and then I'm gonna go to new screen recording and then it highlights the area that I want to record. And then I'm gonna make sure on the options right here, I'll make sure that the microphone is the Scarlett microphone. So it's picking up my actual mic microphone. So this microphone up here instead of the computer. So I'm gonna click there. And then on the, where else? Okay, that's it. So that's the only thing that I make the adjustment on. Once I'm ready to go, I just hit record and I'm doing the screen share. So that's the screen share option. That's how you see, you're, you're not gonna see this in this particular video that, you, um, that you're watching because it's more of an informal video. So I'm just gonna cancel this, X out of that so we can turn off the webcam. But what you're gonna see in the intro is gonna be me using this camera right here and doing one of, inserting one of these right here, one of these batteries, of course, and you know how that works. Insert the card, and then I'm gonna mount it up here. Once that's mounted, I am gonna turn on all of the lights that I have. So there's one, so just click that one on. There's two, so the one that has that kitchen napkin on, and then there's three. So I have three lights coming in. I have to adjust them a little bit, but I have three lights coming in. So I am well lit up. So it doesn't look like I'm operating in the dark. And this has a big, been a big change for me because when I was going over here in front of the window, it, you know, depending on when I record it, just the lighting was off. You could even see the, you could even see the, um, the blinds and everything else that, uh, it, it was just very inconsistent. But now, you're starting to see a little bit more consistency. The only thing that I need to change with my videos, actually there's many things, but one of the big things that I need to change with my videos is I need to figure out how to lock my, my, um, my, my videos so it doesn't look like I'm ch changing colors. Sometimes I look orange, sometimes I look very pale white, sometimes I just very inconsistent. So as you can see, I'm not the most tech savvy. So this is why I wanted to make a video like this because a lot of you ask me, hey, what do you use to record? What do you use to screen capture? What do you, what camera do you use? How do you light? And this is really the setup. It's taken me several, several months to get everything the way that I want it. I'm still not there. There's a lot of things that I want to do. I still need to soundproof the entire wall right there. So it's going to be all the way up to the ceiling, but we're making progress. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. Always remember that. So now that you know what it takes to actually create the videos that I create, you might be interested in learning how you can create your own videos. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.